Well, hello, beautiful people. How are you today? Um, I got a new lesson for you. Um, do me a favor, start by writing this I can statement down. I can calculate the percent composition of a compound. Percent composition. That's what I'm going to teach you how to do. Right? And percent composition, what it boils down to, just real basic, it's how much of each element is in a compound. start out with a very basic molecule here, a water molecule. And I'm going to show you how to calculate the percent composition of a water molecule. And you all know how to draw this water molecule, um, doing your dot structures and then your vesper shapes. You know that it's bent, just like this. Here's the thing about percent composition, though. You take a look just at this picture here, and you're going to say, okay, Mr. Benson, in this picture, there's one oxygen and two hydrogens. I have three total atoms here in this molecule. So a third of it is an oxygen, and two-thirds of it is hydrogen. So it's a really easy calculation for the percent. 33% uh, oxygen to 66% hydrogen. The thing is, that would not be correct. Okay? Um, there's one key point that you cannot tell about your water molecule just from this picture. Let me show you what I mean. What I've done here on my board is I've taken a water molecule and I've showed all the different things that take up mass. Okay? And that's your, your nucleus. You have one oxygen nucleus here that accounts for mass. And most oxygen in the world is going to be eight protons and eight neutrons. And so my formula, my molar mass, ends up being 16 grams per mole. And if you check on the periodic table, you're going to see that one oxygen, um, that is in fact its molar mass. Okay, take a look at this. It's, you got a really big nucleus here, um, takes up a lot of space, has a lot of mass there. And I'll compare that to our hydrogen. Right? There's two hydrogens for sure, but the thing is, there's only one proton in most of the hydrogen that exists, and that's all that a hydrogen is, is one proton and one electron. So if you take a look here at this picture, you're going to see that oxygen accounts a lot more for water than two hydrogens does, um, just because of the great amount of mass that oxygen has versus hydrogen. So we need to add one thing, and that is the mass to do this. So let's start, I want you to write the definition of percent composition. And here we go. It's the percent by mass of each element in a compound. So how much mass for my oxygen in water and how much mass of my hydrogens in my water. That's what we're going to figure out for percent composition. And one more piece of notes here before um, we get started, me showing you this and practicing. Write this down, the percent mass of your elements, okay? And this is for every single element um, that you're going to do. All you do is the mass of that element in your compound divided by the mass of the whole compound. And the thing is, we need a percentage. So you're going to take whatever you get in that number and multiply it times 100. That right there tells you your percent for each element in a compound. So for water up here, it'd be my mass of my hydrogens divided by the mass of the whole compound, which is water. And then also my mass of my oxygen divided by my mass of the whole water. Let me show you. I'm going to erase this right here. Leave that right there. And now here's what we're going to do. We have H2O. I need to find the percent composition of H2O. I need percent hydrogen equals and my percent oxygen equals. The 
this right here is what I'm looking for. Right? So you're going to be like, okay, you didn't give me a mass, Mr. Benson. Well, here's the thing. Just add up each molar mass from the periodic table. Okay? So hydrogen, um, the molar mass for one hydrogen is one. So the total here, there are two grams of hydrogen. And the mass of this whole thing of water, when you add it up on the periodic table, that comes out to 18 grams. And then you will multiply that by 100. So you do this. Let me check my answer here. I ended up with 11. 0.1% hydrogen. 2 divided by 18 times 100, and here's the thing, my grams cancel out. Now, that's how much hydrogen, um, how much water is actually, sorry, let me rephrase that how much hydrogen there is by mass in a molecule of water. I'm going to change colors here. Let's do the oxygen. I have one oxygen. That's going to be 16 grams of oxygen. Um, you look at your thing here. Mass of the whole compound. Let's see if that'll stay there. Okay, mass of the whole compound, once again, is 18 grams. times 100 and when you do this math here you're going to come up with 89.9 percent and that's how much is oxygen in a molecule of water sorry 88 One more piece of note here. Um, this right here, when you add these two percentages up, they better equal 100%. Now, sometimes you might add them up and you might come up with 99.9% or 100.01%. If you're off by a little bit, it's fine. It just has to do with how far you're going to round each of your molar masses. Okay? If it's not exactly at 100, but just a little bit off, that's fine. So, all you do just to repeat, you got your mass of each element. So in water, it's two grams of hydrogen and 16 grams of oxygen. The mass of your whole compound, or in this case, molecule, so 18 grams is water's molar mass. 18 grams, it's the same number, and that's going to give you your percent mass of each element. So not too hard to do, actually pretty easy. Let me show you one more type of problem that you might get. I'm using um, percent composition. I'm going to hold this up. I need you to take a moment to write it down. Okay, it says a compound contains 9.03 grams of magnesium and 3.48 grams of nitrogen. What is the percent composition? I'm going to pause this for a second and come right back. Okay, sorry about that. I just realized I forgot to do the math for that problem, so I want to take a second and do it. So, um, we got a compound that has 9.03 grams of magnesium. Okay, 
to our percent magnesium, we, can, we know right now it has 9.03 grams. This time I don't have to look up the magnesium in the periodic table. The question told us what our mass was right in it. Okay? And it also told us our mass of our nitrogen there, which was 3.48. Now I just need the mass of my whole compound. And if you think about it, it should make sense. Your compound has this much magnesium and that much nitrogen. You're going to add those two numbers together, 9.03 plus 3.48, and it ends up being 12.51 grams. That's what you're going to divide them by. So just to repeat how I got that 12.51, it's your magnesium in your compound, 9.03, plus the rest of your compound is 3.48. And when you add these two together, it's going to end up with 12.51. So that's where I got this number. Okay. And so all I do to get my answer is do the math and times them both by 100. So the percent of magnesium in this compound ends up being. Seventy two point two percent when you do that math. And when you do this math, it comes out to seventy three point eight percent nitrogen. And those two numbers add up to a hundred percent, so I can be pretty confident that I did this correctly. So this is just another way you might see a percent composition formula. Right? You don't have to use your periodic table. The question gives you the max. Right? So I just want to set up one last one here um, where you have to actually use your periodic table. And I'm just going to use straight old glucose sugar. what I do first. I know I need the percent carbon. My percent hydrogen and my percent oxygen. And that's what I'm gonna have to find here. Now all I do is I'm gonna go through each one and I'm gonna figure out each individual element how many grams there are. So you got Carbon is 12 grams, is its molar mass, and there's six of them, 12 times six is 72 grams. Over, we'll figure out the bottom number in a second. Hydrogen's mass is one gram, and there's 12 of them. So there's 12, 12 grams of my hydrogen, and I'll do this, I'll flip this here so you know what exactly we're breaking down here. And then oxygen, there's six of them, 16 times six, it ends up being 96. Now here's the thing, add all those three numbers together, your 72 plus your 12 plus your 96, and that's the number you're going to divide every single one of these by. Because that is your mass of your whole compound there. So that ends up being 180. So you got 
three simple division problems there. Do not forget each one of these. You're going to multiply times 100 to get a percentage. I'm going to let you do that when you come to class. I also have a few problems for you to practice on before you come to class. And uh, good luck. Be sure to see me for tutoring if you have any questions. But it really isn't too hard. Key thing about percent composition, you're talking about mass. You need to get to grams in order to do percent composition. Thank you very much.